which is free, making use of our free resources or the beautiful earth that God gave us. <laughs> Hey Glam Squad, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top filming tips for beauty YouTubers. These tips can be used by any YouTubers, but they are particularly useful for beauty YouTubers or beauty influencers. Before we get into the video, don't forget to check out my free guide below on how to get free music for your video. Trust me, it will be an absolute lifesaver. I wish someone made this for me when I started because it would have saved me so much time and stress. So don't forget to check out that in the description box. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So my first tip is lighting. In this day and age, the quality on YouTube is absolutely insane. So chances are people won't stay and watch your video if your lighting or your audio is bad. So you wanna make sure that you take the time to learn about lighting and make sure you have the best lighting in your videos. And there's two ways you can do this. And the first way is the way that I did for absolute years and it's perfect. It's the free way, it's the budget way. And that is using the natural light that God gave us. You wanna make sure that that you're sitting directly in front of a window or else the light is shining directly on your face. You wanna make sure that you're not facing your head away from the light because you're gonna create shadows in your face and also that there's nothing blocking the light. So there's no like curtains or anything kind of blocking the light in front of you because you're just gonna create all shadows on the face and it's not gonna look even and the makeup won't look its best either on camera. Okay, so just for example, I'm standing right in front of a, a window right now. The light is shining directly on my face and looks really even and the makeup looks flawless. If I stand back and I turn this way, you can see, you can't really see my makeup that well. It doesn't look as well as it did the other way. And also if I'm facing kind of this way, the light is too harsh. You also wanna make sure that the light is not too bright and harsh. Your lighting is gonna go from like really bright where you're struggling to even see yourself applying the makeup to really dark when the sun goes behind the clouds and overall when you look back at the video clip it's just going to be all over the place and it's not going to look like smooth and easy to watch. Find a day that's not too bright and not too dark just right bang in the middle and when you find that day I recommend that you batch film because the weather is so unpredictable when you find that perfect day to film you want to make the most of it. The next thing you can do is invest in light and there's different types of lighting out there you can get soft boxes, umbrella lights or ring lights. I personally prefer soft boxes. I have two. I have one on either side of me. I just think the lighting is nice and soft. It's natural. It's cl as close to daylight as possible. I just think it's the, the nicest form of lighting out there. The other option would be a ring light and ring lights are amazing. I know a lot of makeup artists use ring lights and they are fab. They create a beautiful kind of ring on the eye. Absolutely stunning. However, I do find the light on the ring lights really strong. I personally can't use them. They irritate my eyes. The light is just really intense. And also because the light is so intense, it also darkens your background. So a lot of beauty YouTubers that would use a ring light would also invest in umbrella lights or soft boxes or even background lights to go with their ring lights. So you wouldn't necessarily use a ring light on its own. I personally would recommend investing in soft boxes if you are taking filming very seriously. It will just ensure that you can film any time, day or night, particularly if you have small kids or you work full time where you're really limited on the days and times you can film. Having lighting means that you can literally film whenever you want. You can pack them away, they're really easy to store and they're so much more affordable than ring lights as well. My second tip is to invest in a remote and these are just absolute lifesavers. I have one for my camera and one for my phone. I'll leave the link to these products in the description box as well. But these are just so handy. I have the one for my DLSR so I can stop and start recording. A lot of DLSR cameras you have to focus manually. This is just amazing. And even just for taking photos, it just means that you don't have to be right up close to the camera. This one then is for my phone. It's connected to Bluetooth, so it fits any phone, which is amazing. And this has just been a lifesaver for going out taking outfit photos. I can stand my phone on my tripod and I can take photos wherever I want and I don't need to drag someone with me. My third tip is to script your videos. And I don't mean like word for word. I just mean like make bullet points or have a clear idea on what you're going to say in your videos. And all my videos I do, like my reviews, my hauls, my favorites, I write down the key points to each product. So if I'm talking about a cleanser, I wanna make sure I know the ingredients off by heart. 
so I'll make bullet points of all like the important things I need to mention in my video. It saves me so much time, it saves me making loads of mistakes and it also shortens the video because people do have a short concentration span and if you're going on and waffling on for ages, people will just click out of your video. The next tip is to stop filming after each clip. So for example, if you are doing an eye makeup tutorial, you want to apply your eyeshadow and then stop filming while you dip into, you know, a different color or if you go for your mascara. It will just help you so much when you're editing later on if you continue recording, which is fine and it's something that I used to do back in the day. I would leave it like on continuous record and I would be bending down, picking up mascara, losing my lashes, trying to find my tweezers and when you sit down to edit you actually get so frustrated and so angry because it's just an absolute mess. You have two hours of footage and you don't even know where to begin. So if you stop and start between each step maybe stop after your foundation start filming again when you have your concealer ready to go it will just kind of make the process a little bit smoother and it will save you so much time when editing as well trust me my next tip is to make sure your videos are 15 minutes and under and the reason for this is that people have short concentration spans and realistically not many people will sit down and watch a 20 minute YouTube video unless you are Shane Dawson or James Charles. I like to keep my videos actually 10 minutes and under but YouTube recommends 15 minutes and under and the reason for this is because I like to keep my videos short and snappy. I don't like to waffle on too much. I don't like to blab. I like to keep my information straight to the point and I think my viewers really appreciate that but you also want to make sure that you get your personality out in your videos as well and also YouTube recommends you for having high watch time so you also want to make sure that your videos are not too short because then your watch time is going to be quite uh, short. If people are watching five minutes of your 10 minute video that is absolutely amazing that is 50% watch time and YouTube will reward you for that and push you up in the algorithm on watch pages and recommend you to other people on YouTube as well. Win win. That's pretty much it guys. I really hope you enjoy this video. If you have any tips to share please leave them in the description box and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Also don't forget to check out the FBL group which I will leave linked in the description where all boss babes and entrepreneurs come together to share our tips and to create a lovely positive community. I hope I get to see you there and if not then I'll definitely see you in my next video. Bye!